Here we are in the long form of episode 18 talking about risk methodology. So we're going to have a single scenario, just like we did last time, that we're going to break down all three risk methodologies for the same scenario, and I'll be able to show you the differences of each one. So the first one, we start off with raw risk. And so in this scenario, we're looking at a column where the vent off the top is blocked in. So we have a potential to overpressure the column, and we have a PSV on the column to protect from this happening. In the raw risk perspective, we wouldn't consider the PSV. As you're seeing the diagram now, we've circled the PSV at the top of the drawing. You don't consider that in the raw risk assessment. We want to consider that the column would overpressure and we would have a loss containment impacting personnel. As you can see reflected in the risk from the likelihood and severity, this is done completely without the use of the PSV. In comparison, now you're seeing a separate worksheet and how we risked it from an installed perspective. You can see that the severity is much different. That's because we took into account the PSV before we developed the, the severity. You can also do this with the likelihood uh, as well. And so in looking at this, we said, well, the severity is not that great because we used the PSV and installed risk. Therefore, the column didn't overpressure. So once again, we go back to the diagram. It's the same PSV that we're talking about. We've circled it again. The only difference is this time we've used it when we've developed the risk. And initially, we didn't. It was part of the raw risk perspective. A third way to do this is we kind of combine those two. As I mentioned in the short term uh, video, this is a better method for semi-quantitative assessments. So you can see in the worksheet that you're looking at now, we have the raw consequence and we have the raw risk, which mimics the risk that we had in our first raw risk example. Then we add the safeguard as the PSV. So now in this next set of columns, you can see how our severity has changed based on the risk. So now the team can fully see we have a raw risk and we have an installed risk, and it's clear to everybody in the future that we gave this PSV a certain level of credit in making sure that it didn't overpressure the column. Sometimes these methods really have to be understood and explained a lot of times for our teams to get. But if you pick one that works best with the risk type, as we talked about in the previous video, it can re be really easy for the team to follow and understand. I hope you like this long form content and examples. As always, keep checking us out on the website, our YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook.